Hi, this is Arthur from binary-thoughts.net and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a project in Microsoft's Visual Studio 2012. If you are using a different uh, IDE, check out the video description for other videos I have on other IDEs. So go ahead and start uh, Visual Studio 2012. If you haven't installed it, you can look in the video description for a link on a video on how you can install it for free. So once Visual Studio is open, we want to create a new project. To do this, we go ahead and go to File, New Project. Uh, so a new project window will pop up and we want to select C++ um, and then Win32 Console Application. I'm going to go ahead and name this um, my first project. You can name it whatever you would like. Um, this shows you the directory that it's using, so you, that's where it's going to save your project. You can change that by hitting the Browse button. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the defaults here. And I'm going to click OK to continue. So this brings up the wizard, uh, the project wizard, and I'm going to go ahead and click next on the wizard. And I want to create an empty project, and I do not want to use any SDLs. Um, later we might decide to not uh, pick these options, but for the time being this is what we're going to do. Um, so go ahead and click empty project and uh, deselect uh, security development lifecycle and hit finish. So this will now create our new project. So now we are in Visual Studio um, with our new project. Um, off to our right we have the Solution Explorer. So the Solution Explorer is what manages all of the files in your project. So these files um, essentially are what are needed to make your program run. So this can be your source code files, pictures, sound clips, anything needed that your program uh, is dependent upon. Um, other things are, uh, of course, you have all of your menus. So you get your file menu, which um, is pretty self-explanatory. You can save your project. You can open previous projects. Um, you can create new projects. Um, edit has the, the normal cut, paste, copy, um, things of that nature. View is an important one. Um, if you happen to accidentally close a window, um, you can reopen it by going to view and then whatever you closed. So I just opened Solution Explorer back up after closing it. Um, project, again, just has more stuff you can do to your project. Um, some wizards that help you uh, speed up production time. Um, build is what compiles your um, project. So this will compile it and also show you any of the compiling errors. Um, debug, uh, I'll have a video on debugging. But essentially debugging helps you um, determine where your errors are in your program. These other ones are kind of more advanced um, tools that you won't really need to get into, especially if you're watching a tutorial video. Um, but I might go over them later. Um, down here is the console window, console window or the output window. Before we can actually write a program, we need to have a source file. So we can add a source file to our project by either right-clicking on our project and clicking Add, New Item. And we want to select a C++ file. And you can name it whatever. I'm just going to keep it source.cpp and go ahead and click Add. So this now just added a source.cpp file to my first project. Um, and it put it in the designated folder, Source Files. If I click on it, um, it opens up this text window where I can actually type my source code. So this is handy. Um, in the IDE, it also has some advantages of using um, um, an IDE over a text editor. Um, so it will tell me when I have did stuff wrong. As you can see, um, this doesn't know what this is. It's almost like a spell check for programming. So it tells you that something might not be right here. Doesn't always mean that it's 100% um, true, 
but in most cases uh, these are very common um, ways to tell if you've made a mistake. So once you've created your source.cpp file or um, any, any name for that file, you can use it as the entry of your program. So all C++ programs start with a main function. Um, the most common uh, main function looks like this, which is int main uh, with avoided parameters and then a return zero. Again, there are different variants, um, but this is the standard. So once you have your int main function, you should be able to build or compile your um, project. So if you go ahead and go up to build and hit build solution, this will compile your project and also tell you if it was successful, failed, or if there was any errors. Um, as we can see, the build was successful and we have no errors. So now that we have our CPP file, which we named source, and inside of our CPP file, we have an int main function. We can now begin to write our uh, code necessary to create a program. Um, so once we type our programming code, um, say that we programmed some code, C++ programming code. So say that we programmed um, commands to tell the computer what to do. All we would have to do is then compile it by going to the build menu and then hitting build selection. This will compile our code and then we could just run it by going start without debugging and that will run our program. Um, you can also run it with debugging. Um, the advantages of doing that is you actually get to use all the debugging tools uh, such as breakpoints, um, and again, I have a video on how to use all the debugging tools. Um, so if you're interested in that, I would definitely check that out. Um, that's all there is into creating a project in Visual Studio 2012. Um, I'm also gonna have a video on how to add files to a project, um, such as libraries, uh, other classes, um, things of that nature. And that concludes this video. I want to thank everyone for watching and make sure that you like, subscribe, and check out my website binary-thoughts.net and my YouTube channel Binary Thoughts for more tutorials, videos, and resources. Thanks again and good luck.